Are you on the keto journey but not seeing the results you expected? You're not alone. Today we're diving deep into the five biggest ketosis mistakes that you absolutely must avoid. Stay tuned, because avoiding these common ketosis mistakes can supercharge your fat loss and health goals. Alright, let's dive into the first mistake people make on keto, eating too much protein. It's a common pitfall that can derail your progress if you're not careful. Protein is crucial, especially on a ketogenic diet. It helps preserve muscle mass and keeps you feeling full. However, it's important to strike the right balance. But here's the catch. When we consume more protein than our bodies need, especially when carb intake is low, our bodies can convert excess protein into glucose. This process is called gluconeogenesis. This can significantly hamper your ability to reach and maintain ketosis. Ketosis is the metabolic state where your body burns fat for fuel instead of carbohydrates. So, how much protein is too much? Aim for around 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per kilogram of body weight. This range helps ensure you're getting enough without overdoing it. If you're highly active, lifting weights regularly, or have specific body composition goals, you might need a bit more protein. Athletes and those engaging in intense physical activities often require additional protein to support muscle repair and growth. The key is to pay attention to your body and adjust accordingly. Listen to your hunger cues and energy levels. Don't be afraid to experiment and find what works best for you. Everyone's body responds differently, so it's important to tailor your diet to your individual needs. And remember, it's always a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian to determine your individual protein needs on a ketogenic diet. They can provide personalized guidance based on your health status and goals. Now, let's talk about how to make sure you're getting enough protein without going overboard. Meal planning and portion control are essential strategies. Prioritize healthy fats first. Think avocados, olive oil, nuts, and fatty fish. These fats are not only beneficial for your health, but also help you stay satiated. These foods are not only delicious and satisfying, but also provide your body with the energy it needs to thrive on keto. A well-balanced keto meal can make all the difference. Another helpful tip is to focus on protein quality over quantity. High-quality proteins are more beneficial and can be more efficiently utilized by your body. Choose high-quality protein sources like grass-fed beef, pasture-raised poultry, wild-caught fish, and eggs. These options are not only rich in protein but also packed with essential nutrients. These foods are not only packed with protein but also provide essential nutrients that support overall health. Remember, balance is key. A balanced diet ensures you get a variety of nutrients. Too much protein can kick you out of ketosis, so find your sweet spot. Monitoring your ketosis levels can help you stay on track. By managing your protein intake wisely, you can stay in ketosis and achieve your health goals. A mindful approach to protein consumption will support your ketogenic journey and overall well-being. Let's talk about the second biggest mistake people often make on keto, not getting enough electrolytes. This is a common pitfall that can derail your progress and make the diet much harder to stick to. This one is crucial because it directly impacts how you feel on a daily basis. Without proper electrolyte balance, you might find yourself feeling sluggish and unmotivated. When we transition to a ketogenic diet, our bodies go through significant changes, including a decrease in insulin levels. This shift is necessary for ketosis, but comes with its own set of challenges. Lower insulin leads to our kidneys excreting more sodium and water, causing an imbalance in electrolytes. This is why many people experience the keto flu during the initial stages of the diet. Sodium, potassium, and magnesium are essential minerals that play a vital role in countless bodily functions. They help regulate muscle contractions, nerve function, and hydration levels. When these electrolytes are out of whack, you're going to feel it. Fatigue, headaches, muscle cramps, brain fog, and even heart palpitations. These symptoms can be discouraging and make it hard to stay committed to the diet. So, how do you avoid this electrolyte imbalance? It's simpler than you might think. With a few mindful adjustments, you can keep your electrolytes in check and feel great. First and foremost, don't be afraid of salt. On a ketogenic diet, sodium is your friend. Unlike other diets where salt is restricted, keto requires a higher intake. Make sure you're salting your food liberally and consider incorporating some electrolyte-rich drinks into your routine. These can be a quick and easy way to replenish lost minerals. Broth, bone broth, or even just adding a pinch of sea salt and lemon juice to your water can make a world of difference. These simple additions can help you maintain your electrolyte balance. Potassium is abundant in leafy green vegetables, avocados, mushrooms, and salmon. 
These foods are not only delicious but also packed with essential nutrients. Load up on these nutrient-dense foods, they will help you meet your potassium needs and keep your body functioning optimally. Magnesium is a bit trickier to get enough of through diet alone, so consider supplementation. This mineral is crucial for muscle function and energy production. Look for a high-quality magnesium supplement in a form that your body absorbs well, like magnesium glycinate or citrate. These forms are more bioavailable and effective. Feeling your best on keto is about more than just hitting your macros. It's about ensuring your body gets all the nutrients it needs to thrive. It's about nourishing your body with the electrolytes it needs to thrive. This holistic approach will make your keto journey more enjoyable and sustainable. Pay attention to your electrolyte intake, listen to your body, and adjust accordingly. By doing so, you'll set yourself up for long-term success on the ketogenic diet. Beyond macros, the quality conundrum of keto. When you first start keto, it's easy to get caught up in the numbers game. Counting macros, tracking every gram of carbs, and obsessing over ratios can become all-consuming. While understanding your macros is important, it's not the be-all and end-all. One of the biggest mistakes is focusing solely on macros while neglecting the quality of the food. Just because something is technically keto-friendly doesn't mean it's good for you. For example, you could hit your fat macro by eating a whole bag of keto-friendly chips cooked in inflammatory oils. But how do you think your body would feel after that? Probably not great. On the other hand, you could get your fat from nutrient-dense sources like avocados, olive oil, nuts, and fatty fish. These foods provide healthy fats and deliver vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. The same goes for protein. Choose real whole foods like grass-fed beef, pasture-raised poultry, and wild-caught fish. Keto is about more than just macros. It's about fueling your body with nutrient-dense whole foods. Choose quality over quantity every single time. Start by reading labels carefully. Look for hidden sugars, unhealthy fats, and artificial ingredients. Prioritize whole, unprocessed foods whenever possible. Think fresh fruits and vegetables, grass-fed meats, wild-caught seafood, and healthy fats. These foods are naturally low in carbs and high in nutrients, making them the perfect foundation for a healthy and sustainable ketogenic diet. The ketosis conundrum, are you really in ketosis? Let's talk about a mistake that trips up a lot of people, assuming they're in ketosis without verifying it. It's easy to think, I'm eating all the right foods, I must be in ketosis. But our bodies are complex and many factors can influence ketone production. Stress levels, sleep quality, medications, and individual metabolic differences all play a role. So, how do you know for sure if you're in ketosis? That's where monitoring comes in. Use simple tools to get an objective measure of your ketone levels. One of the easiest ways to test for ketosis is by using ketone urine strips. While they're not perfect, they can give you a general idea of whether your body is producing ketones. Another option is to use a blood ketone meter, which is more accurate. Testing allows you to take the guesswork out of ketosis. It provides valuable data to help you fine-tune your approach and achieve your health and weight loss goals more effectively. Remember, even if you think you're doing everything right, testing can reveal subtle tweaks needed to optimize ketone production. Take the guesswork out of ketosis and use the data to guide your journey. The sustainability secret making keto a lifestyle, not a quick fix. The biggest mistake is thinking of keto as a quick fix rather than a lifestyle change. Many people dive into keto with the hope of rapid weight loss, only to find themselves struggling to maintain it. It's easy to get caught up in the initial excitement of seeing the numbers on the scale go down. The rapid results can be incredibly motivating at first, but if you're not prepared to make sustainable changes, those results won't last. The initial weight loss can be misleading if not backed by a long-term commitment. Keto is not a magic pill. There are no shortcuts to lasting health and wellness. It's a fundamental shift in how you approach food and health. This means prioritizing nutrient-dense foods and understanding the impact of what you eat. It's about nourishing your body with real, whole foods and making choices that support long-term well-being. Think of it as investing in your future health. So how do you make keto sustainable? It starts with mindset. A positive and flexible mindset can make all the difference. Shift your perspective from diet to lifestyle. This isn't a temporary fix, it's a new way of living. Embrace the journey, not the destination. Incorporate flexibility. Enjoy the process of discovering new foods and recipes. Maybe that means a weekly carb refeed day or adopting a cyclical ketogenic diet. Flexibility can help you stay on track without feeling deprived. Listen to your body, experiment, and find what works best for you. Everyone's body responds differently, so it's important to tailor the diet to your needs. 
focus on the bigger picture. Set long-term health goals that go beyond just weight loss. It's not just about weight loss, it's about improving overall health. Notice the benefits like better skin, more energy, and improved mental clarity. When you focus on positive changes, it becomes easier to stay motivated and committed. Celebrate your small victories along the way. It's okay to have off days and indulge occasionally. Balance is key to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. The key is not to let slip-ups derail your progress. Get back on track and keep moving forward. Find a balance that works for you and make keto a sustainable part of your life. Plan ahead and prepare meals to avoid last-minute unhealthy choices. Remember there is no one-size-fits-all approach to keto. Customize your plan to fit your lifestyle and preferences. What matters most is finding a way of eating that you can stick with long-term. Consistency is the key to reaping the benefits. Focus on having more energy, thinking more clearly, and feeling your best. These are the true indicators of a successful lifestyle change. Make keto a lifestyle, not a quick fix, and enjoy the journey. Embrace the changes and celebrate the new, healthier you. Keto success starts now. There you have it, the five biggest ketosis mistakes you absolutely must avoid. Implement the strategies we've discussed today, listen to your body, and watch as you unlock the incredible transformative power of the ketogenic diet. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop your keto questions in the comments below. Let's beat keto mistakes together.